Digital Eclipse is at it again, after successfully bringing back Karadega for a modern audience and then the games of Jeff Minter, this time they are going back to the past to bring back one huge classic, we are talking about the 1980 RPG Wizardry, one that if you remember playing, it is time to check up if you wanna leave your Steam library to someone. Anyway, jokes aside, is this Wizardry for modern audience worth your time and money? Let's find out. After some time spent in Early Access, the game has been released in its full version in late May. Story is quite simple, we're going against an evil wizard who is hiding behind the maze, we'll have to defeat him to bring back peace to the land. Do we really need more than that? I don't think so. Our party will have to descend to the maze, defeat classic and more unique enemies, and finally reach the wizard. But it won't be as simple as that. Naturally our party will start out as level 1, and in classic 80s and early 90s tradition, especially SSI games, we'll have to create each and every member of our party. Do they care that their alignment does mean that, for example, good guys won't want to join a party with evil ones? So yeah, I didn't know that when I started, so yes. Create a good mix of warriors, mages, priests and one thief, and you are ready to venture into the maze. Wizardry is a classic first-person dungeon exploration experience, but there's a few quirks that you might not know about if you're not familiar with the original. First of all, there's no map. The one way to keep track of where you've been and where you have to go is pen and paper. Now, okay, there's actually a spell which you can cast, and each time you go back, you can see the map at the moment you cast the spell. But that's it, of course, so you have to cast the spell each time you want to update the map. You can customize your gameplay experience, say you want to play at 100% old school, you can do that and even play in a more modern way. You want to customize it down to the nitty gritty details, you can do that as well. There's one old school thing that I'm not a huge fan of, uh, it takes a while for your team to level up, and which of course makes sense, but venturing down the maze without healing spells or potions ready is a problem because it means you'll have to go back every two or three enemy encounters and that's not really what you want out of your game. Even worse, when you start meeting enemies that poison you, it is a race back to the village each and every time. Ah, the village, let's talk about the village. The inn is where your characters can level up and sleep to regain health points, but sleeping means also that the character will age, and it's not clear when they will start dying off as the game won't tell you, just tells you that you spent Vim, which is kind of the new term that the remake is using, but yeah, it won't tell you much more than that, so better not abuse that sleeping feature anyway. The tavern is used to manage the party if you want to switch members in their position, because of course you want your warriors to be in the first three positions and your mages, you know, the weaker characters to go behind them. The temple can resurrect their party members for a fee, that is, and cure them of ailments such as paralysis. And finally the shop, where you can spend your art and gold for new equipment and potions. All in all, it is admirable how Digital Eclipse built this new version basically on top of the original 1980 game. It is so precise that you can see the old game being played out on the screen, if you want. But still, I'm not sure how many fans of the original Wizardry are still around and, you know, were requesting this new version. So I kept asking myself while playing, would fans of modern RPGs want to spend time on Wizardry, the new version? <sighs> Depends. So if you're curious about one of the original computer RPGs ever made, this is a great way to check it out, probably the best way. But if we just ignore the history angle for a second and we judge this remake as a you know modern game released in 2024, there will be several things that will make modern RPG audience a bit wary. You know, there's leftover bugs, for example, some of them quite irritating. There is no story to speak of, no real progression beyond gaining levels, and the experience is quite repetitive. You go down the maze, kill enemies, get treasure, go back, spend money, cure a party, rinse and repeat. We know that modern RPGs are all about the story, or perhaps some interesting gameplay gimmick. In this, the remake of Wizardry is not up to scratch. Still, I don't think that's a problem, I don't think it was ever made to compete with any modern titles, so that audience would not be interested even if it had an actual you know, plot and story. Regardless of that, Wizardry still needs polishing in some of these aspects. The interface feels too cumbersome at times, for example when you want to switch position of your party members, selecting each one and having to move them around instead of just you know selecting where you want them, yeah, it takes a lot of time. Also, long drawn out battles against weaker enemies are 
Ugh, quite boring. You're just waiting for your party's attacks to finally connect, while the enemies keep missing. There's no battle acceleration option, so you just wait and wait and wait and wait. Overall, I give Wizardry, Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord, 7.5 out of 10. This is a great way to experience a classic RPG from the early 80s, but this is not one RPG you should be interested in if you like, you know, your modern games to be plot heavy. If you are the specific target audience for this, and Digital Eclipse managed to also solve some of the bugs and issues, it could definitely be a good idea to check it out, perhaps on sale.